quick overview on the 475 Quintrix Cine console. Um, it's a 2000 hull. Um, it's got a 64 stroke Yamaha on the back, 2003. That was serviced in July this year, so you've got just under years before you service it again. Um, I'll give you a quick overview because I've had a heap of interest and a lot of tyre kickers coming and going, so I thought I'd take out. Trying to remove the tire kickers and just filter out the genuine people. So anyway, I'll give you a quick overview on the boat so you can um, answer some of your questions. Um, starting up at the centre console, we've got all these switches. All these switches work. Um, the first one I'll flick on here is your voltmeter. On there, oh, you won't be able to see in the morning sun, but that's saying 12.6 or 12.8. If I can see 12.6, I think. Anyway, the when the battery when the motor's running the battery's charging it's up at 13.6 so that's the first thing i do is just make sure the battery's charging and the battery's okay um that there is hours on the motor 483 that's good and then you got your um fuel gauges and the other gauges and what have you um that's where the sounders go obviously we've got am fm radio which i don't really use but it works I don't use it at all, in fact. Um, I don't know if the fish can hear radio sound waves or not, but anyway, it's just a thing. Um, VHF marine radio, that works fine, that looks good. That's obviously an essential part of life on the water. Um, and then you've got the antenna, which folds up. Um, we've got a speaker over there, in the half, half sun, half shadow. And we've got another speaker over there. Um, down underneath here, we've got the 12 volt starting battery. That's less than three months old, so you've got many years of life left in that. And then just to my right, we've got the EPIRB there. I haven't taken it out. From memory, I think it's like a 10 year EPIRB or something, so that's about a year old as well. So you'd have nine years worth of EPIRB ability there. Turn around, um, fuel filter, oscillator switch. Um, obviously that gets turned off after every trip. Got the bait board. Uh, you probably could convert that into a live bait tank if you wanted. Um, I haven't, I've got my own little method. Anyway, keep your stinky vultures and squid in there. Um, let's come around to the front quickly. That's the new Lorentz. HDS 9, that's a touchscreen, that's a really good unit, um, it's amazing what you can see of these things there. Um, and then that's the older sounder. Um, that there does all my side scan, down scan, sonar stuff. This one here, I use this for trails and whatever. I want to set this up to have all my, all my GPS coordinates and whatever. Just to be aware, it takes the bigger card slot, um, so you can't just go from that card into there. you just got to get the adapter. I've never bothered putting the GPS coordinates in there, there in the end, so I just use this for trails and things like that, if I'm cruising and drifting over a spot or whatever. Um, yeah, we've got the motor guard, um, 24 volts, 80 pound thrust, 72 inch shaft motor guard. Um, that's controlled with that right there. Um, that's got spot lock and all the rest of it, so I see something, I drop the electric motor, hop onto the remote control and away you go. Um, this is the two 12 volt batteries there linked up together to be 24 volt. Those batteries are less than 18 months old. Um, I've used them probably about 30 times I reckon. I don't know how long they last. I've never come close to run, running out on them. Um, I use them all day. And then I'll come home and put them on charge. If you're really keen, you can go and look at the amp hour um, on the batteries and how much juice this electric motor charges at full noise. Um, I don't know. I don't even get come come close to running out, so I've never worried about the calculation. Um, I've got a pedestal, pedestal seat there, which I normally take out. I don't fish with it. It's just if I've got guests or something like that. I've got a second seat and a second little spot there. Um, so you fellas can have those two seats if you want. Um, there's a bimini that normally comes in the boat. Um, no, I don't normally have it in the boat. If I've got the kids and things and it's the middle of summer, I'll put the bimini on. Um, but there's a bimini that goes there. 
and I've actually got a rigged up so it folds behind that bait board at the back. So the bimini does fold up out the way. I'm missing the sock for the bimini, a little cover. So it's just a bit flappy with straps and things like that, which annoys me. But I don't run the bimini very often. Um, I just want to show you, um, in terms of wear and tear on the paint and what have you, um, there you can see the paint's just flaking off. It's a fairly general overview on the paint. Um, it's not a brand new boat. Um, it's aesthetics only. It doesn't affect the use on the boat. If it worries you, you can get a sandblast and repainted. Um, the first time you go in the creek and you start throwing a cast net or you're pulling crab pots over the edge, or you've got kids climbing in and out with life jackets, um, your brand new paint's going to get scratched straight away. So, for me personally, it's a waste of money. Um, it's probably the last thing I would ever do is repaint a boat. But I understand some people get hung up with that sort of thing. So, it's up to you. I wouldn't bother. Anyway, some people and like that sort of thing. Um, and then just the other thing is, I'll just show you the trailer. Um, these will need to be replaced at some stage. Mud guards, all but holy. Um, they need to be replaced at some stage, so I fully accept that. Um, happy to take it into the account of the price. There's a trailer. The trailer's in fair condition. It's um, not a brand new trailer. Cross members, I changed them oh, again a little while ago. Within the last 12, 18 months, changed out the cross members. The trailer's not brand new, but it's pretty solid condition. Um, it's got years of life left in it. Oh, there's an electric motor. Don't normally have it down in the daytime. And there's a trailer um, just on the other side of the boat. Anyway, fellas, hopefully that's answered a few questions, giving you a bit of a look see. Um, catch you later. Cheers.